Hey guys, Professor Mike here. Welcome back or to the channel and welcome back to another video. Today we're doing a 50,000 mile review on the F-150. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about um, things that have happened to it, if it's been reliable, and uh, how, my, how I'm liking it so far. Before we jump into that, if you guys are uh, interested in investing and making money on the side and doing like a side uh, hustle, I actually have some links in the description for Robinhood, M1 Finance, and Coinbase. And when you sign up, you can actually get a free a little bit of money like free $10 Bitcoin or $30, $30 when you sign up or a free stock so check out the links in the description also if you're wondering what mods I've done to the truck I have a link in the description of every single thing I've done to the truck for the Amazon links so you can go ahead and click on those and do those to your truck but other than that let's jump into the video and talk to you a little bit about the 50,000 mile review on the F-150 all right so let's go for a drive here and we are going to talk about the truck so far and how long I've had it and everything like that so I've had it for coming up on one year now um, not quite still got a couple of more months and uh, actually hold on one second this is the uh, the truck that I that I had to make a video on it's actually here right now but that's the truck and so we're doing a 50,000 mile review on it now it's not quite 50,000 miles it's uh, uh, 45,000 but just decided to go ahead and make a video I've had it long enough and um, 50 I don't think anything's gonna happen in the next 5,000 miles and I have a lot of content to make for you guys so I'm just gonna go ahead and make this for you so we're gonna go for a little quick drive real quick and just talk to you about my thoughts on it and how it's been treating me so let's go uh, let's go for this ride and what a beautiful day it is today Wow I mean a couple of clouds in the sky but and it's not too hot it's uh 79 so that's good and these speed bumps man going over these speed bumps every single day is really gonna destroy destroy my uh my suspension here this is bad but luckily i'm moving soon so i won't have to be going over these speed bumps there's literally 10 speed bumps in my uh, apartment complex so it's it's not it's not good for the uh the suspension especially on the mustang that was getting bad and especially since i go over it it's always a right tire that goes over the speed bump and it just just it's just so bad i don't know why there's so many damn speed bumps so wow fifty thousand miles man i can't even like my mustang when i sold it almost had fifty thousand miles it had about 40 something thousand miles on it and the mustang had some problems um it was mostly reliable but not too bad but so far this f-150 it's been great. I mean, I obviously know the F-150s in general are very reliable. I mean, they have, they, they're the most selling vehicle in the United States and, and the most selling truck for the last like 50 years. So there's a reason for that. But the only thing that has happened to it so far, to my knowledge, is uh, the hood latch. As you guys saw, it was, all, it was a while ago, but I made a hood latch video. Um, it's, it's just when I got into the car and I turned it on, it would say my hood was open. It would say hood ajar. And I'd be like, no, my hood's closed. So I'd open up the hood and slam it, and it would just say my hood's open. So then it got to the point where I thought my, my hood was open. So then the car alarm would go off in the middle of the night randomly. I had to jump up and, and, uh, and lock the car or unlock the car to get, get it to stop. And that was a problem. So, I mean, the hood part where it just says your hood is open, like randomly, that was like, okay, I could deal with that for a little bit and try to get it fixed. But then as soon as it's, uh, the alarm started going off, like every 20 minutes, I was like, nah, I got to take it in. And uh, I was going to do it myself, but they're like, oh, a part will come in like two weeks. I'm like, dude, I can't wait two weeks. I got to get it done now. So they went ahead and changed it. So I got a new hood and you saw that video early on. But other than that, so far, uh, no problems. And the red light here. Hold on. There we go. So other than that, there's been no problems. Now, I did make a video that my F-150 is has been having problems like the 5.0 tick and the fluttering and yes it has been doing that but i'm gonna go ahead and take it in before obviously the 60,000 mile mark so i don't want to i want to have it under the warranty so i'm gonna go ahead and take it in because if the engine is doing that 5.0 tick and so like it sounds like a diesel it's doing that fluttering sound where uh, it sounds like the chain is rattling as soon as i let off the gas on the deceleration is that fluttering sound and then also it consumes oil you guys saw the video on that it's been burning oil it was literally a quart low um a little while ago so i had to go ahead and re refill that but other than that 
the check engine light, like nothing's going on with the engine, but I'm just gonna take it in to see what they can do. I've heard on the F-150 forums that they can't do anything about it or sometimes they replace your engine or something crazy like that. Um, something, they can do something with the ECM to get it to stop fluttering or get it to stop ticking. I don't know, so we're gonna do that. But so far, the truck has been awesome. The tires have been holding up great. The paint, awesome. And I do get it washed a lot. So the paint has been holding up very, very well. I don't have like bugs inside the paint. Um, interior, awesome. I'll just show you guys the interior right now. Basically, I have the sport cloth uh, seating and it's been awesome. All the electronics work, all the, the uh, you know, digital clusters. So I've had, I've seen people maybe having a problem with this, this not opening and not closing. It's been fine like that. I actually do need to get some dust mats for these um, cup holders and, and inside this box right here because as you can see it is bare. I think there's supposed to be a mat, like something like this mat. It's supposed to be in here. It's supposed to be like inside the door handles and stuff like that, but the tr truck did not come with that. So I am going to probably have to order those. Probably be super cheap. Um, don't know if I'm gonna do any plastic or any kind of any kind of knobs stuff like that But coming to the gauge cluster uh, When I look at the, all the gauges everything like that is it's been fine. So We're getting about 600 700 gallons to the tank full which is insane And it's all because of the 10-speed automatic. I'm actually gonna get uh, up outside the truck And then I'm going to basically just walk around the truck and show you um, how it looks and how it's holding up 50,000 miles. It is relatively high miles since it is a 2018 So it's like three almost four years old And 50,000 miles for a three-year-old truck is a little high um, But the good thing is I haven't been driving it that much because I really don't really drive much um, school is online and my work is literally right over there. So I didn't have to drive too much but hopefully, hopefully, um, this YouTube channel can just keep growing and then I can start making a lot of content for you guys and hopefully be able to do this full time. I mean, that's like my ultimate dream to do this full time and to not work a nine to five and to just have my support of everybody that watches my videos. And we've been growing in subscribers so much and it's, it's kind of crazy to think about because I would have never thought that people would watch my videos, but I guess you guys do. I guess I make good content for you guys, but Let's go ahead and park over here. I'm gonna park in this little, um, in this parking lot here. And then, oops, we're not supposed to enter through here, but oops, okay. So I'm gonna go right through here and then I'm going to just walk around the truck so you can see what it looks like for the 50,000 mile review. And we, I plan on having this thing for so long. I don't plan on ever selling it, so we're gonna have it until the day it dies so it's gonna be with me on the channel for a while but let's get out right now let's check it out all right here it is and oh i did have a problem i forgot to mention i did have a problem with the tail light you guys saw the video on that it was uh it was this tail light right here so Hopefully you guys can hear me, hear me, the wind is kind of crazy right now, but I did replace that taillight because it did have water damage in it. But other than that, nothing, nothing else. I do want to get some wheel well liners, so it looks really nice up in there. And then some exhaust. But here's a quick walk around of it. 50,000 miles, it honestly looks brand new. When I first got it, it had like 40,000 miles on it, and it looked... It literally looked, people thought it was a brand new truck and I was like, no, it's actually used. It has 40,000 miles on it. But when you look at it, it's, it still looks brand new. And I'm so proud of it because it was a big purchase for me. And I was just so proud that I was able to pay it and then um, just to have it and just sell the Mustang. I know the Mustang was my baby. It was one of my first cars. And so when I got the truck, it, uh, I don't, do I miss the Mustang? Eh, I'd rather have the truck, honestly. But yeah, there's, there's times where I miss the Mustang. But so here is just a quick look. Uh, and when I first got the truck, it was kind of weird that the fog lights were cracked. I don't know how on both sides too. And then I guess I'll tell you all the imperfections that happened with the truck. 50,000 miles when I got it, it had uh, some scuffs on the bed. As you can see, they're there doing a lot of hauling. And there was also scuffs inside the door like here. 
like, don't, I don't know how this happened, but basically, they were, I don't know, hauling something, it's on that door, and it's on that door, and it's on this door, so, they stru stuffing up the, uh, the hole inside of the, so I, I can actually take these off and get a new one if I want, which I might do, but other than that, the truck was flawless, there was one little paint chip, like, right here, right there, when I got it, and then I think that's it for the, I don't think there's any more chips, I think so, but yeah, so there is the 50,000 mile review, good so far, cross your fingers, right, walk around the back one more time so you can see the whole truck, dude, it has came together, if you guys look at my first video for the F-150 and then look at the videos now, I've done so many things to it just to make it my own, make it unique, and just make it look nice, and that's what it's all about. Other than that, guys, we will catch you in the next video. Peace.